Getting the chance to pet and cuddle therapy dogs will no longer be once a semester at Ryerson. Now, students can come visit these cute tail waggers every week. This is because the program has had a high demand since it was first introduced in 2013. Back then, student attendance was astounding. During that session, about 500 students showed up. So that was where we realized where there was a need. Since we've um, now gone to weekly, so the dogs are here much more often, we get between 60 and 100 students every week, so still very, a very busy program. Lisa Johannes is among the regulars that attend the dog therapy clinics. Um, well, firstly, I love dogs, and I think um, it's a really therapeutic thing to do to be able to interact with them and sort of relieve my stress. So that's pretty much why I come as often as I can. Therapeutic dog sessions can be an effective way for people to relieve stress of all kinds, according to Ryerson counselor and dog owner Bronwyn Dixon. They find it really relaxing to come and just interact with the dogs and take a break from all the other things that they have going on in their life, finals or family stress or you name it. Trinket is a crowd favorite. Her owner, Sue, says that Trinket was born for dog therapy. It was clear from the time she was a puppy that she was very social and she wouldn't be happy sitting at home by herself. She really loves to socialize with others and I think she was meant to do that. Dog therapy sessions also open up doors to support for students experiencing anxiety and stress. We have brochures here, information about st other stress management groups, so it's just kind of a, a conduit to other support services on campus. That's just another reason therapy sessions have been pushed to once a week. Trinket is just one of the multiple therapy dogs that may help relieve students' stress. Therapeutic dog sessions will be running from 11.30 to 12.30 p.m. every Monday until April 11th. For the Eye Opener, I'm Brittany Rosen.